I've been a theme park fan for over 10 years now, and one of the rides I always heard about is Shivering Timbers, but one of the best wooden roller coasters in the world. I could not wait to try it out. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. We drove all the way here, way out of the way, and just found out Shivering Timbers is closed for the day. Unfortunately for theme park fans, Shivering Timbers would end up being closed for way more than a day due to an accident that had literally happened the day before, and so it hadn't caught on. Nobody knew what was wrong at the time. We didn't find out until probably two days after we went that the two trains had actually bumped in the station, and that's why the ride was closed. Honestly, I think the reason why this hurts the most is we didn't really have any notice about this. Didn't see anything on the website about it. You know, we drove all the way out here. You know, spend money on a hotel. It was like four hours from Cedar Point or something like that. And I don't think we would have come if we had known Shivering Timbers was gonna be closed. So yeah, it just just sucks. I think the reason why this hurts so much is I was thinking about all the big amusement parks, all the big roller coasters that I haven't ridden yet in America. And I think Shivering Timbers is the one I was most looking forward to. We were driving up and like, it looks amazing. Like the ride is huge. I'm just gonna throw it in that it is a really good ride actually. I hate I'm you, Scott. I've ridden it yeah. hundreds yeah. of times. But I can think of past times when I've visited amusement parks and I think, okay, you know, it sucks that this ride is closed, but maybe the day will get better. We'll still have a good time. And that was just not the case for our day at Michigan's Adventure, which I think ended up being one of the worst theme park days I have ever had. Unfortunately, nothing about this park impressed me. And almost none of it was because Shivering Timbers was closed. I'm convinced I still would have the same feeling of this park even if we had gotten to ride Shivering Timbers. It's just that that probably would have been the saving grace. Not the one coaster we want to start our day off on, but I mean, I'll take it. One shot, but we made it to get. <laughs> God, we just got off Wolverine Wildcat. I only slightly hated it. I only hated it a little bit, which means I liked it somewhat. It was... Uh, a little bit smooth. The tunnel was something. It was. It existed. It did. Um, the hills uh, were there. It was I, a long ride. I appreciated the grab bar because that's. I needed that for that one. <laughs> All right, it sucked. Yeah, that was. Here's that grand vista view you get of the rest of the park. I didn't realize that they repainted Thunderhawk. From what I've heard, it's the best SLC, but it's still an SLC. So no, I'm not excited about it. But. I mean, I'll do it just to just to see what everyone's talking about. Well, here's the line. They're about to stack four trains on a mouse. Wow. And we're about to wait for it. I mean, it's an arrow mouse, so, you know, a bit of a rarity. So I've never seen this before, but they're only cycling this mouse with one car on the course at a time. And they have, let's see, so four, five, six vehicles on the track, but they're only cycling it with one going and then one loading, and then the rest just sit here on the blocks. I, I don't get that. Did they not realize like what the purpose of a block zone is? El Toro Ryan, where are you? All right, so they're just now sending the green one. So we're starting a timer, and we want to see exactly how long it's going to take for the people on that green vehicle to get off, which is going to be right up there. And with all the ride vehicles on the course, uh, it's probably going to be a bit. All right, so green just hit the brakes. That was a minute 30. Now, they won't let them get off at this block right here, which is super weird because the lap bar pops up, but they're telling everyone to remain seated, and they're not letting them get off until right up there. All right, so they're not allowed to get off there. They have to wait. And we're at seven and a half minutes. There go the restraints. They're off. Nine minutes, 12 seconds. Almost 10 minutes on this ride, and almost it was a all and of a half. it. It's a minute and a half long. Yeah, and almost all of it was just sitting on the oh. brake run. The problem is that they should be sending another vehicle as soon as that one hits the top of the lift hill, but they're not. I don't know if they know what blocks mean, but El Toro Ryan would be so disappointed right now. We're off Mad Mouse and total experience from when we got in line to when we got off the ride was one hour, 25 minutes. Uh, I think they need to adapt to their operating procedures for that ride. Nothing against the ride operators, but uh, how that ride is programmed, uh, it should be running a lot better and with more cars than it actually is. I don't know what's going on there. I found something I like about this park. The water fountains are actually on and the water's cold. I think a lot of parks could learn from that. Scott corkscrew, definitely a one and done. Uh, not much to it. it. It has the tiny drop and then 
two corkscrews and that's it. So a uh, smaller model of those uh, arrow loopers. So yeah, um, shipping timbers really just seems like the only standout right here. Welcome to Dollywood. Here at Lightning Rod, I'm sorry, uh, Coasters Drive-In, we have a, a, s a selection of cars that you can find in front of an RMC. Why is it literally the same thing? <laughs> What is this? It's got like a funny vanity plate. They literally just get one that says sample. Pretty basic food options here at Michigan's Adventure. Pretty much everything is chicken tenders, fries, pizza, and burgers. Yep. Uh, what, what was the experience you guys just had? Oh no. Uh, well, I just got, I, I got my number screamed at in my face. I ordered a uh, shake, they said the shake machine is broken. We watched them make like four shakes. The poor people right here, they uh, asked for ketchup and barbecue sauce and said they didn't have any. They literally have yeah, tons so we, of sauce. So we literally donated some of ours to them. But and they didn't have ranch. Yeah, no ranch. Sad. It's the Midwest, problem. that makes no sense. We're in the Midwest, like the Homer Ranch. Hey, roll on the stage, so hold on tight and enjoy your ride. Yeah. 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 It's actually a really nice lake. I like it. I guess this pathway here leads to the water park. Final roller coaster we need, Thunderhawk. T3's a uh, Michigan friend. T3 doesn't have friends. <laughs> here it is, riding what most people call the best SLC, or at least one of them. And surprisingly enough, they are running two trains on it. I mean, it's the only ride in the park that isn't on one, unless you count the wild mouse. Is Thunderhawk the best Vacoma SLC? Uh, it, is there a best one? Yeah, I was gonna say there's none that I'm like, yeah, that was that was stand out. It, I don't know. Except it, for the ones that are stand out awful. Yeah. It, like, <laughs> was it better than like T3? Well, it's yeah. Funny because you know the restraints are different. I'm like, okay, it's not gonna hurt my legs as bad, but somehow it still pinched the skin on my thigh. It's all red on my thigh now because of it, so I still hurt my thighs, even though it didn't have those god-awful restraints that, yeah. like, suffocate. Yeah, it's, I mean, it yeah, still has those, those kind of j janky transitions, and... The head pads are, like, I, Yeah, awful. not a fan of the restraints, just because oh it... Oh, my God, uh, put pillows on those things if you're going to put them there. Yeah. Please. It, I'd, maybe yeah. above average for an <laughs> SLC, but oh, still not good. <laughs> shivering Timber Terror. Timber Terror, Mystic Timber, Shivering All in one t shirt. That one doesn't make sense. The rest of the merch actually is like pretty I nice. Hate this. Shiver Giver, that makes me Shiver want to die. Shiver Giver, what? <laughs> Thunderhawk. I would say, like, I really like this one. I mean, I would never buy a shirt from this park, but like, I like the merch. Like, it I looks good. I don't even want to, like, I advertise that I've been shirt. here. <laughs> And that does it for our day at Michigan's Adventure. I don't know why we stayed as long as we did. <laughs> I don't know either. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think I really want to come back, but I feel like I have to because of Shivering Timbers. That's it. It's the only reason, really. I mean, yeah, I'll come back for Shivering Timbers. I mean, they're not going to add anything new because... I don't know. What, Scott, you said it, you've, it's been like 10 years since you've been here and there's still nothing new? Yeah, I, last time I was here was opening year of the uh, SLC. Oh my and gosh. 10 years prior to that, they opened Shivering Timbers. So, Jeez. Yeah, and that was 08 You're when old. they put that in. I know. <laughs> and it's 2021. So. See, and my issue really didn't stem from the fact that Shivering Timbers was closed. Like, I can work with that. I'm, I'm pretty good at making like light out of a Making bad the most of a bad situation. But it yeah. was like every little thing that I would normally do to try to make a situation better, like, still ended up being bad. Like, I'm like, okay. Like, let's play some carnival games. And we were like, here, we have some dollars. Like, can we get coins? Because that's all the machines take. No, sorry, we have no change. Okay, we're going to use the change machine. No, sorry, that doesn't work. Okay, so yeah. we can do that. Or, okay, let's order milkshakes. That'll be fun. And then we pay for them. And they're like, oh, just kidding, our machine's down. And then we look, and everyone behind us is ordering milkshakes. And they're and all they're getting them. And they're making them. Yeah, yeah. And it's watching just, them making them. It's just one little thing after another. And it's, it's you know, we understand there's, like, staffing issues. But it really had nothing. There was I nothing staffing-related, really. None of our problems with this park had anything to do with COVID, uh, res, you know, result from COVID or um, or staffing. It was just like- Because we're very understanding yeah. about that stuff. Like if there's oh, yeah. long lines because they're short and operator or something like that, fine. Hour, but it's 20 nothing minutes like for a mile. Sh Shipping that, Timbers yeah. was not closed because of staffing issues. No. Um, 
I don't think Second the one train operations were because of staffing. Like yeah. it was, I don't know. It was yeah, operations weren't great. Uh, just the park overall was not really desirable. It just doesn't have like a, a positive vibe to it, and it doesn't try to. Like even like little interactions I had with people here, like were just profoundly negative. And I like to think that I'm like a, a pretty positive person, like approaching yeah. an interaction, but. I just didn't receive any of that back, which is kind of a shame. I mean, now that I, the only Cedar Fair park now I, that I haven't been to is Valley Fair, and I, I don't think that this felt like the other Cedar Fair parks. Oh, especially after being at Cedar Point yesterday, and yeah. all yeah. the love and, and money they throw into that park, and, and then Kings these Island, the Kings yeah. Island, and we've had two those are the great crown visits. jewels of Cedar Fair, and you can yeah. just tell they do not give this park the love and attention they could, because it could be good. Like, you know, it's small, but like, if you they, can make the most out of a small space. Yeah, if they yeah. poured some money into it, I can think of several small parks that are like awesome. And just fixing little things, really, like, I don't know. It's, it's too bad. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm willing to give it another go one day, but because the park is just so far out of the way. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. I don't think I'll be back anytime soon, which is really unfortunate, but. I don't know. I'd love to hear down in the comments below what you guys think of Michigan's adventure. If some of the problems that we've had today uh, are things that you've also had to deal with, um, or if you've had a completely different experience, uh, let us know uh, how your experience has been at this park. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more Hair Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.